First things first, this is my first time using a script and I feel like I'm doing better with the script. This video is scripted because I don't know how to go without a script anymore. I just kind of lost the ability to do that, so yeah. Anyway, I've done videos of, on this game before, but haven't in a while and the game has changed since then. Talents of Destiny is a fan-made Wings of Fire game that is currently out on Roblox and free to play. Oh my gosh, my dog is barking. Anyway. It's currently out on Roblox, it's free to play, but keep in mind that it is still in development and currently doesn't have all the features that are planned, but it is still a stunning game. I'm thinking of making more videos on the game, but I'm too busy lately, I started vocational school recently. So since my last video, Towns of Destiny has updated a lot. The game now has customization that is a lot more advanced, a few more animations were added, and they added more cool things to the map, like different stuff, details. The map is currently just the Sea Kingdom, but that's going to change. There's going to be more maps eventually. So I'm going to talk about these cool things and features of the game. And yeah, let's do this. The first thing I will talk about is the models and customization. The models are beautiful as heck, and accurate to their depictions. Being some of the prettiest Wings of Fire models I've ever seen, they all have personality and look like perfection from any angle. They're literally beautiful. Wings, webbing, and sails are a model, not a mesh, making them consistent so they will accurately, accurately, I can't speak, show their selected color and show up from any angle. This game manages to add tiny details on their models that each tribe canonically has, and they do it perfectly without causing lag, such as tiny white nightwing scales, rainwing spots, and extra scales to make patterns more accurate to what is depicted in the series. All seven Pyrian tribes are in the game and were added in the game all within less than a year. I believe Pantalon tribes are planned as some sneak peeks of Silkwings were shown in their Discord server. Overall, what I have to say is these models are hecking beautiful. I just, ugh, I can't get enough of them. The Rainwing is so cute, I want to give it a big squeeze. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the animations. The animations have personality, like, they definitely have personality. The expression emotes always show facial expressions that make the emotion clear, and they'll also play as long as you want them to. There are two ways to lie down for more life in roleplay, and one can accurately be used as a dead emote. The idle animations have yawns and ear flicks, giving more personality and realism, and honestly they're kinda cute. And the eyes move in the idol as well, cause once again, realism. Not all the animations for all the tribes are done yet, and some tribes use other tribes' animations as a placeholder, but swimming and flying are finished now. And a fun little feature is this game has dancing! They are just head dances that are different for each tribe, and are out for everyone to use. All players can dance. Full body dances will likely be added in the future from what I've heard. Bellasaurus is one of the animators for the game, and I can honestly tell that this is, like, her animation style. Now for accessories. Not all the tribe's accessories are done yet, but all players can freely wear the ones that are released. The only tribes currently with accessories are Sandwing and Seawing, but more are planned. Now let's talk about the map. The map is currently only the Kingdom of the Sea, but more are planned. The map and lighting are stunning and perfect for photo shoots. The map contains the Summer Palace with decorations in every floor and cave in the wall, as well as a beautiful shoreline. The underwater is decorated with a lot of detail, and there is even a Sea Wing town in there with shops and NPCs. <coughs> Further into the sea is a single island where there is a random beached Sea Wing. And though it may take some searching, somewhere under the island is a tavern called the Grand Pearl. This is a great spot for role-playing. I love role-playing here. Now let's talk about overall development, as well as the development team. Talents of Destiny development is fast, with a fitting amount of devs for their project. The main dev is Goldie Bays, but the dev team also includes Velosaurus, Bizzlemip, and a few others. The dev team listens to the community, and added or are planning to add things 
that the Wings of Fire Roblox community wants, such as certain colors and also hybrids. Hybrids isn't added yet, but they will not be a separate model, but will be like accessories, having certain parts you can add onto your dragon to make it how you choose. And from what I've heard, they choose admins wisely. Overall, the development team is great. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, this game is great and I totally recommend you check it out. Like I said, I'll try making more videos on this game, but I'm kind of busy right now and that's why there aren't as many uploads, so the videos might not come right away. I'm very sorry. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. Bye!